hallelujah glory be to god you're welcome in the name of our lord jesus christ i welcome you into this day into this beautiful day fruitful day wonderful day a day into the presence of the lord i welcome you in the name of the father son and the holy spirit congratulations you have this day again to seek god to know god to make your way straight before god another opportunity is before you another day is before you there are many people that died last night they died yesterday. They could not even repent. They are crying hellfire right now. But you still have another day to serve God well, to, to, to take a decision, to change your, 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 your life, to take a new step. And we just give, could you begin to worship God and thank God for this day, Lord? We say thank you. Hallowed be your name. Glory be your name. Oh, Lord, we say thank you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you, Father, for your grace and your mercy. So, oh, God, thank you, Lord Jesus, for our life, our family. Oh, God, blessed be your holy name lord you are wonderful you are great oh god oh there's none like unto you lord in all the earth there's no like unto you oh god i worship you lord i bless you lord thank you father for that sister for that brother for that family blessed be your holy name lord thank you father for what you are doing in their life for the abundance of blessings oh god that is in their life oh god that is awaiting them today thank you father for the healing you are releasing today thank you lord for the miracle you are releasing today thank you father for the salvation you are releasing today thank you father for how you by your word and through your word you are going to wrap a wonderful thing oh god for us thank you lord in the name of jesus father again i decrease oh lord father increase let only you be seen in in, in 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 this in this fellowship today let only you be seen in my life oh god father jesus speak oh god for we listen we hear you lord speak oh god father speak to our hearts speak to our situation speak, speak to our spirits oh god to transform us to deliver us to heal us to bring us closer to you and make us ready for your kingdom in the name of jesus blessed be your holy name lord in jesus name we pray amen lord we worship you oh we worship you lord we give you all the praise Lord, we worship you. Oh, we worship you. Lord, we give you all the praise. For you are holy. For you are mighty. For you are wonderful. Lord, I praise you. I praise your holy name. Lord, I praise your holy name. Lord, I give you all the praise. Oh, Lord, I praise your holy name oh lord i give you all the praise for you are holy for you are worthy lord for you are wonderful lord i praise you I praise your holy name. We wait on you. Lord, we wait on you. We wait on you. Lord, we wait on you. For your word, we wait on you. Lord, we wait on you. Jesus, we wait on you. Lord, we wait on you. Speak to us, Lord Jesus, for we wait on you, Lord. We are ready to hear your word. Speak to our lives, O God, to empower us, to fill us, to energize us, to bring us closer. O Lord, to speak your will into our life. Speak to us, O God, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, hallelujah.
God bless you once more. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever you're watching from. The Lord bless you and cause his face to shine on you. In Jesus' name, amen. This is a new day and we give the Lord all the glory. Today is September 9, 2021. All glory to his name for this day and we bless God. In Jesus' name, amen. Today's topic is, it is a privilege to dwell in my secret place. This is every word of God for daily living by our spiritual father, Pastor Porika, the man that God has ordained for this end time to prepare us for, his, for the coming of the Lord. Amen. He is the international director of the Holiness River Movement Worldwide, short form Horemo. Amen. Our text is taken from the book of Psalm 61, verses 3 to 4. For thou hast been a shelter for me and a strong tower from the enemy. I will abide in the tabernacle forever. I will trust in the covenant of thy wings. Selah. Kives, Psalm 27 verses 5. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide thee in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock. Amen. I read, my child, consider the privilege of dwelling in my secret place. Hear the things which threaten you, seemingly from within you or around you, all break down upon the shield which is myself. It is here that you find real security. It is here that you can. At times of great difficulty, sur surrender to my enveloping love. As you do so, you can mentally let everything else just slip away. It is here in my security place, in my secure, in my secret place, sorry, that you absorb the strength you need to go on. It is here that you receive enlightenment or the, or the patience you need until new light is given to you surrender to me amen i just want to stop here this is like god speaking to us it is like god calling us into that relationship with him into that trust in him into that friendship that god is just calling us to himself are you are you in trouble are you always afraid are you in, are you in need do you feel alone or deserted or rejected and you just need someone to call on you need friendship you need companion you need someone to to head you to be your god you need someone god is calling you to himself many people can say that how do you have a relationship with god that you do not see my dear it's just a spiritual thing you can imagine you having a phone and calling your husband if you are married or just calling him and say honey i miss you and um um i, I i'm feeling lonely i, I would just uh, i love that you were with me something like that and you're not seeing him but you know that he's there because you're on phone and you can also hear him back and you trust that he's hearing you that is the same thing with god you cannot see god but i tell you you can feel god you cannot see god but you have his word there and his word is him himself so if you feel that not just if you feel that loneliness that god is calling us but if there's an emptiness in your heart i tell you god is the one that is to feel that emptiness whether you have a spa or not whether you are you you, you have this worldly goose or not there is always an emptiness in your heart there's always a a hole that god has to fill there's always a place that is a place of god that god is drawing you god is calling you there is a call sometimes People that are running away from God, they know that God is calling them, but they try to use worldly things to cover it up. 
They try to use things to cover it up. God is calling them and drawing them. Say, my daughter, come. Come into the place of, of prayer. Come. I want to speak to you. Open your Bible. Read. There's something I want to tell you. You know that there's a call in your heart. But because of your flesh, you listen to the flesh more than you listen to the voice of God. That sense, that call, that all, that thing that you are feeling, that is the call of God. Something that wakes you that say, oh, I've not read my Bible today. That is God calling you. Something that say, oh, I can't go out. I've not prayed. That is God calling you. Some that say, ah, no, I have, to, I have to drop this phone right now. I have to pray. I've not prayed enough. Oh, that is God calling you. God is calling you. You wake up in the middle of the, of the night. You don't even have a bad dream, but you just woke up. You don't know why. That is God calling you into a place of prayer. So God is calling us today to surrender our all to him, to give him our all, to give him attention. I tell you, at the time in my life, I had no friend. I just had my sisters and my parents, but I had no really person I could actually relate to that really understood me at the time I feel that there was nobody that understood me I would go to God I would tell God everything I would pray to God I would cry to God I would tell him everything I would laugh to God uh, at the time I'm like am I mad or so but anytime I finished I always feel excited I always feel like I'm on top of the world I always, I always feel as if I, I'm, I'm looking for a mountain to move right now I always feel that I'm the most special in the whole world because that is who I am to God that is who I am to God God. because i just finished telling god everything about my life and i feel yes i know what to do now i have wisdom i am powerful i'm strong ah because i've told god all and though i do not see god but god as i'm giving him is giving me back as i'm giving him my problem giving him my trouble he's giving me his peace he's giving me his solution he's giving me his answer god is calling you some people, they are they, like women. Women like talking a lot and they need somebody to listen to them. My dear, you don't need a boy to listen to you. You don't need somebody to talk to that will give you wrong advice. You don't need somebody to be talking to and then the person that we, that is even jealous in you, that you don't even know who, who, what is in their heart. They are giving you a cancer, a cancer that will kill you. They are giving you something that you, that you don't actually need. They don't even really understand you. My dear, go to God. God is looking for a relationship with you. God is seeking you. God is looking for that relationship. God is calling you into a sweet relationship with him. And as you go, may you find God. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Surrender to my enveloping love. That is what God is saying. He says, surrender to my enveloping love. God is calling you. May you may even have a husband that don't love you enough or a wife that, 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 that do it. That's why you have done everything, but her eyes seem, like, seem as if it's, she's still out there looking out there. You don't know what to do anymore. Surrender to the enveloping love of God. You may be a girl that is looking and praying for God. Oh God, I need my spouse. Oh God, I need that man. I need, I, I need a husband. Give me, bless me. Oh Lord, I'm so lonely. You may be a boy. A Oh Lord, my body is eating me up. Oh God, my body is burning. Where is that right woman? Surrender to the enveloping love of God and let that, that feeling go. Let that, that thing that the devil is introducing to your spirit, let it go. Surrender to the enveloping love of God. Go and tell it to Jesus. Go and tell it to God. Go and tell it to Jesus. If the uh, apostles of the old uh, of the old times they could stay without even getting married, ah, uh, even for this short time before your change come, before your blessing come, before your spouse come, oh brother sister, you can stay. Surrender to the enveloping love of God. Hallelujah. May we find God even as we surrender in the name of Jesus. Amen. As you do do so you can mentally let everything as you do so you can mentally let everything else just slip away it is here in my secret place is the lord that you absorb strength you need to go on it is here that you receive enlightenment of all patience you need until new light 
is giving to you. Sometimes you don't know, you don't just know, you're just blank. You don't know what to do. You're asking God, what next? What, what is the next thing for me to do in my life? What is the next thing? It is in the presence of God that you get the next thing. It is in the presence of God that you get that enlightenment from God. God is just seeking for your patience, seeking for you to come to him, to really seek him from your heart. It is from the presence of God you are going to get that word from God. Ah, as we see God, may we find God. May we get that word from God to change our life around in the name of Jesus. Amen. uh, Surrounded by me, God is saying, surrounded by me, my children experience the true hope, which is only to be found in myself. There's no other person that can give you hope. There's nothing, there's nothing you can, you can place your confidence in except in the, except in God. Psalm 91 verses 1 to 3 and 10 to 13. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence there shall no evil before thee neither shall any play come near thy dwelling for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways they shall bear thee up in their hands lest thou dash thy foot against a stone thou shalt tread upon the lions and other and then the young lion and the dragon shall thou trample on thy feet Amen. These blessings are for those that dwell in the secret place. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Almighty. God is calling you into his secret place. God is calling you and drawing you. He's drawing you from the distractions of the world, from the, from the distractions of the, of the iPhone and the galaxy phone on Facebook, on Instagram, or God is, God is drawing you from the busyness of your job and your family. God is calling you. He's calling me. He's calling us into him. Hear ye the call of the Lord today and answer to his voice in Jesus name. Amen. God God is calling us. My child, you must know that everything which I allow in your life is something for which you can thank me. Hmm. You are blessed to know this. Only my spirit can reveal it to you because my purposes are always for your good. You can take full advantage of the opportunities in each earthly situation upon all your circumstances past present and future my wisdom is brought to bear a wisdom springing from my loving corner for you amen that means no matter the situation no matter what is going on in your life god is with you god is with you god is with you so you should be bold in the lord and trust in god knowing that you are in the hands of the lord we saw that he shall give his angels charge over us some people say yes i dwell in the secret place of god but my life is full of one problem and the other my dear it is god that is seeing you through that problem that is why you are alive today that is why you are where you are today if not of the lord who had been on your side you would have been long dead you would have been in trouble you would have been long dead my dear everything that happens to you it is that you give god glory both in good times and in bad times because both times is to the glory of God. Hallelujah. God, maybe you are in a passing through a test right now. You are very, you are, you are a good child of God. You are holy, you are righteous, you've done all. And then this trouble, this problem just seems not to go away. The Lord is testing you. You are in the time of test. Are you going to pass that test or are you going to give up? The Lord is calling you into a secret place and say, my daughter, come into my secret place. My son, come into my secret place for I am calling upon you. I want to wrap my hands all around you. I want to say, go, oh, my daughter, more strength to you, grace to you. I want to love you, my son. Come into my secret place. Come and tell me that situation. Come and tell me that problem. Come and tell me the Lord is calling you. Hear ye the call of the Lord and answer unto him. Hear ye the voice of the Lord today. He will not say, call you. Come, all you people, says the Lord. In the name of Jesus, 
In the name of Jesus, may we answer to the call of the Lord. May we answer to the call of the Lord. For it is your great privilege to know that everything which life brings to those who put their trust in the in me, says God. Because this is like a, the, the, the writing is referring as God is saying. It is a great privilege. It is a great privilege to know that everything which life brings to those who put their trust in me is right and is blessed blessed by myself. Amen. You can therefore go on thanking me all the time. That means whether it, the situation seems good or whether the situation seems bad, just keep on thanking the Lord. Just keep on glorifying his name. Just keep on thanking him because in your thanksgiving, you see things happening. You see your situation changing. Don't give up. Continue to push forward. Continue to go forward. Continue to uh, communicate with our father because he is all calling you. He is calling you with his hands wide open to receive you. And as you seek him, you will find him in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, just pray this prayer with me and say, Lord, I answer to your call. Lord, I am here, Lord Jesus. I answer to your call. I am answering to your call. Oh, Lord, I answer to your call, oh God. Oh, Lord, I receive grace to go forward. I receive grace to go into the secret place. Begin to pray. Say, Lord, I receive grace to come into your secret place. I receive grace to come into your Say, I pray put on the blood of Jesus. I put on the blood of Jesus. Oh, I cleanse my garment with the blood of Jesus. Oh, to come into your presence, oh God. Oh, Lord Jesus. We receive that grace, that grace to come into your presence in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now we are going to pray. Are you, have you, have you left the presence of God? Is God calling you back? Because maybe you have been there and because you got that new job. Because sometimes people go into the secret place just to ask God, Oh God, I need that job. Oh God, I need that wife. Oh God, I need that woman. I need that, that thing, that, that thing. And when God gives it to you, you don't go to the secret place again. God is waiting and say, Where is my beloved son? Where is my beloved daughter? God can't find you again because you have gotten that job that is taking your time. That when you wake up, Oh, hey, it's time for work. Oh, you just jump and say, Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Father, thank you for that. And you are gone. Or when you are coming back from work, you are tired before you eat. Ah, you are already sleeping. God is saying, Where's my son? God is saying, Where's my daughter? Where's my daughter that will always sing worship? Oh, la shekata. Where's my daughter that will always worship me? Father, let's begin to say, Lord, I return. Lord, I return. Say, God, forgive me, oh God. Forgive me, oh Lord. Forgive us, oh God. Father, we return. We return, oh God. I return to you. I return to you. Kelebo Shataya. I return to you. Begin to return to God as He's calling you today. Say, Lord, I return. Father, we return. We return to your everlasting love. We return for this little for, for, for this your everlasting love. Oh God, we return to you. In the name of Jesus, amen. In time of coronavirus. A lot of people quote this verse. A lot of people use this cha- uh, 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 our 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 reading for today, our text for today. A lot of people use this text. Oh, you read it, I read it, I read it. Is it our text? No, Psalm 91 is what I want to say. A lot of people use Psalm 91 so much. I read it. Now coronavirus is rolling away. Have you gone back to that scripture? Have you gone back? Have you read that scripture since? I said, oh God, thank God, Psalm 91 has delivered me. Psalm 91 has finished. Now, are you still in the secret place of God? Have you gone to seek God? Even if, even if just to tell God, I love you. Have you gone to tell God, I love you for a long time? Or you just, oh God, give me, give me, give me. By the grace of God, I thank God. After me and my children finish praying, the last thing we do is, Jesus will love you. Mwah. That's the last thing we do. Jesus will love you. Because that is the love of God that we want to remain in our life. That is what we want to remember. That the love of God is more greater than the, than the trouble that the enemy has to give. Than the worries of the enemy. 
enemy because we want to remain in his everlasting love. We want to remain in the love of God. God is waiting for you to give him a kiss. God is waiting for you to hug him, to open your hands. The other day, my daughter said, uh, I want to hug God. That's what my daughter said. I want to hug God. How can I hug God? I say in the time of worship, you can just open your hands and say, God, oh Lord, and do like this. You feel the presence of God. How can you hug God? The tangible presence of God touches your heart. That's how I reply. It touches your heart. And she smiled and she was happy. She was joyful. That's a child. The Bible said we should be like children. We should be like children. That is how we can enter the kingdom of God. Oh, old mama, oh papa, strong, you are ready. Oh, you say, how can I be doing this again? This is God. God says, if you cannot be like a child that says, how can I hug God? I want to hug God. How can I hug God? You cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven. Because in heaven, presence of God is everywhere. The presence of God is everywhere. God is calling us to his love. Calling us to him. Oh Lord, we answer to this love. We answer to your call for our life. We answer to it to God and we say we are sorry. For how we have not opened our heart for a long time. Too much busyness, things of this world has taken away our time. Father, we pray for your mercy. That you will restore us back to yourself. And that Satan, the devil that wants us to always be away from you, shall not prevail anymore. In the name of Jesus, amen. I rebuke him. We rebuke him by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, amen. And we take victory over Satan. That we shall have relationship with God. We shall dine with God. We shall have quiet times with God. To the glory of the Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. The thought for the day says, If God is for you, who can stand against you? Hallelujah. That means we should all with that, that. That means that if God is for us, we don't have to worry. We don't have to be afraid. We don't have to be troubled. We just do our parts. Make sure that we dwell in the secret place of God and God is for us. Hallelujah. We give God glory for this devotion today. All glory and praises be to his glorious name. I thank God for your life that had listened thus far. The Lord bless you. The Lord's God is face to shine upon you and give you a wonderful day. Give you grace to truly seek God and seek his holiness, seek his righteousness, seek him from your hearts. The Lord help us and cause his face to shine upon us. God bless you and have a wonderful day. Amen.